So today we've got to take a look at how we do uh, story problems with scientific notation. And honestly, um, what I keep telling you is that it's about third or fourth grade level as far as the idea of the add, subtract, multiply, or divide. But the numbers are presented to you in scientific notation, and so you just have to kind of uh, do the exact same thing you would in third grade, except for everything's in scientific notation. So let's take a look at this very first problem. Um, this is a, a very special problem because uh, where it says how many times greater. Um, I see this happen so many times uh, on standardized testing with scientific notation. I just want to pay special attention to this type of problem. So anyway, John normally drives 3 times 10 to the first miles every day. Uh, that just means he drives 30 miles, folks. That's all it is. They're presenting you an easy problem in scientific notation. Today, however, he has to drive to Knoxville, Tennessee, which is 3 times 10 to the second power. That's actually just 300 miles away, right? So how many times greater does John have to drive today than on a normal day? And when I ask you how many times greater, that just means you're going to have to divide. So um, this bigger number, how, much, how many times greater is it than the smaller number? Well, if we took 300 and divided it by 30, we'd know it would be 10 times greater. But if they're needing to see your work, you might as well just put it in scientific notation. 3 times 10 to the second divided by 3 times 10 to the first. Divide your front numbers. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And subtract your exponent. 2 minus 1 is 1. So it's uh, 1 times 10 to the first times greater. If they're wanting it in scientific notation. Or they might just give you the 10 times greater and a multiple choice type setup. But that's all you have to do. When it says how many times greater, just divide. That's all you have to do. Let's take a look at this one. The population of the USA is roughly 3 times 10 to the 8th uh, power of people. Well, if we went through and made that into standard notation, that'd be about 300 million people. The population of the world is roughly 7 times 10 to the 9th, so roughly 7 billion people. Yep, three more zeros there. Sorry, lost count. There we go. So um, that would be 7 billion. This is 300 million. And we want to know how many times greater. So when you see this little phrasing, how many times greater, that just means that we just need to divide the big number by the small number. And I really don't feel like dividing 7 billion by 300 million, and I don't have my calculator, so let's just set it up in scientific notation. 7 times 10 to the ninth divided by 3 times 10 to the 8th. Well, 7 divided by 3 is going to be roughly, uh, I believe it's like 2.3 or something like that. And uh, 9 minus 8 is 1. So roughly, how many times greater? Roughly about 23 times greater. Two more problems. This one, um, just pretend that these numbers are given to you as actual numbers and uh, figure out what you would do. Jerry bought a, pump, a puppy that weighed 1.4 times 10 to the first ounces. Since then, the puppy's weight has increased uh, 3.38 times 10 to the second ounces. How much does the puppy weigh now? Now, pretend, let's just say it weighed 14 ounces, which it actually is. And we'll go ahead and make this one a standard. That's 338 ounces. If it was 14 ounces and then it increased 338 ounces, all you'd have to do is add, right? Well, um, all you have to do is add these two numbers that are in scientific notation. You know, since this is the smaller exponent, add a 1 to it, drag this back, and that makes it 0.14 times 10 to the second. Now we can back up our front numbers and we'd get 3.52 times 10 to the second, which, hey, it's the exact same thing, 352 ounces. Local corporation has to replace some of their equipment, and I see a typo there, so let me fix that. The expected cost is 1.5 times 10 to the 7th dollars. So 
um, express this into standard notation. So let's go ahead and write this right here so we can kind of see it. It's a positive exponent, so we want to go to the right to make it bigger than 1. Once it clears this 5, it's still got to go 6 more places. And you'll see that that corporation is having to spend $15 million to keep their um, machinery up and running. Uh, make sure that since we're talking about dollars, we put the dollar sign on there. 